The process of measuring high-frequency RF signals on printed circuit boards with near-field probes and a spectrum analyzer has been in use for many years. In typical use, a handheld near-field or sniffer probe is placed within the RF waves emanating from the powered circuit board where spectrum measurement can be taken. However, the measurement can be significantly affected by the distance and position of the probe. The Huntron Access RF system provides reliable and repeatable near-field measurements of RF signals. The system integrates a Huntron Access 2 prober, Keysight Spectrum Analyzer, and Langer RF near-field probes under the control of Huntron Workstation. This combination delivers an automated method to place a sniffer probe precisely where it is needed. The process for setting up a test with the Access RF is very straightforward. Using the Huntron Workstation software, a database is created listing a sequence of points on the circuit board assembly or CCA where measurements can be taken. Since the measurements are made using a non-contact sniffer probe, these test locations are referred to as virtual test points or VTPs. Each VTP can have specific spectrum analyzer parameters configured by adding a range for each measurement needed. In the range dialog, you can edit parameters such as minimum and maximum signal level, attenuation, start and stop frequency, resolution bandwidth, and measurement comparison floor. Once the test points are created in the database, the CCA is mounted within the prober test bed. Provisions for getting the CCA in a powered on state are necessary for capturing live RF measurements. These provisions are designed and implemented by the end user. Two alignment points used for CCA positioning are selected. In many cases, manufacturer's fiducial marks are used. The alignment points are used to correct for any position change when one CCA is removed and another one mounted. After the alignment points are saved, the virtual test points can be located and saved. The main prober camera is used to pinpoint the precise location where the RF measurement will be taken. Each point is taught in this manner until all locations are saved. The last step is to teach the vertical positions for the probe. The up position designates the position as the probe moves between points and the down position sets the vertical position of the probe when a measurement is taken. The probe does not make contact with the CCA, but is positioned very close to capture the strongest possible signal. The up and down positions can be set individually or globally for the entire sequence. The test is now ready to execute. Individual points or the entire sequence can be scanned. As the test runs, Measurements at each test point are captured by the workstation software. When the scan is finished, the measurements can be reviewed and stored to the database as references for comparison. The test can now be executed on suspect boards. When those scans are complete, the measurements are compared to the stored references. The troubleshoot view displays the failed measurements with the current waveforms shown overlaid on the stored waveforms in contrasting colors. This gives you the opportunity to make visual comparisons of the waveforms and make your diagnostic decisions. The failed waveforms can be saved to a report and printed, or exported to a file in various formats such as PDF, Excel, or HTML. In the end, the primary goal for the Access RF is to place a RF probe in a precise position so you can easily capture the repeatable high-frequency measurements you need. This is a vast improvement over any manual method. For more details on the Access RF, contact us or visit the Huntron website at www.huntron.com. Thank you for watching.